seven the five bigger. Can we get the five? <laughs> nah, <laughs> not on them. How's it going? I just um, came from Canberra then, just arrived in Batemans Bay. We're looking to go for a dive this weekend. It's been a while since I've been in the water. I've got a few new items from Adreno as well, which um, I'm keen to put to the test. I got a new 3.5 millimeter closed cell wetsuit, which I'm keen to try. The water's still a bit warm at the moment, but I need to, um, need to get into it and just try it out. And I got a new float line, and I got a new reel set up on my 100 Rob Allen. So I'm pretty keen to test that out as well. Ah oh, shit, I nearly fell over. Lachlan's meant to be coming down. He's meant to be traveling down from Crookwell. And we're teeing up a dive. I think we're gonna go with Harry Young, which is Offshore Adventures. And um, hopefully the Kingies are still around. Been a few, been taken off the bay and up, up north a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get onto them. It's Thursday right now as I'm talking to you. So uh, yeah, Saturday's gonna be our main day. Earlier on in the week, Lachlan went down as well and he managed to spear a 80 centimeter kingfish, which is pretty amped because it's his first um, first kingfish. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty exciting thing and he actually got it on film. So I'll roll that for you right now. And yeah, let's get into it. Yo. Just went down the road just to grab some ice to chuck on this kingfish and um, keep it nice and fresh before I fill it up. But I'll get it out and I'll show you guys. So this is him. Very stoked, very stoked. So what the plan is with this one, I think I'm gonna have half the fish, maybe shishimi, and then the other half, fill it up. Guys, we're here, we're ready to go out. The conditions are good. Um, the wind's not, not up too much, which is good. And I've got a new wetsuit, as you can see. I'm loving it, it feels good. Just put the hot and soapy in it. It feels real good, comfortable. And um, yeah, it should be good. I got a new wetty too. Yeah. <laughs> same, same, but a little bit different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, we didn't plan this, just kind of happened, but um, I don't know. You're not really gonna know who shoots a good fish now underwater, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. looks awesome we're gonna work the flasher for a bit and see what comes around and we might move to the island and check that out and hopefully get onto some good fish 
throwing out the, the float lines at the moment. So we just got out from a pretty sick dive. Um, visibility was actually a lot better than what we had anticipated. It was about 15, maybe 18 meters viz. So we anchored in about a 12 meter spot and we were just going dive for dive, Bray and I, trying to pick up the flash that we just bought. Um, we bought it last week in a Dreno, trying to drag in some nice kingies, but unfortunately there were no kingies around. Um, we still managed to hit some pretty sick reef species. So I'm gonna do a little talk through of what we got right now. So. Open the SD up. At our first dive location, we we're able to get maybe four or five decent black drummer just in the washy areas, which is pretty sick. I was able to nail a pretty good trumpeter. So that's gonna come up pretty nice. You have to cook it slightly different, but very nice tasting fish nonetheless. We also got a nice little blue molly. Which I'm pretty stoked about has like really nice iridescent blue sparkles underwater. Really cool fish, super nice eating. Got a couple of nice goat fish. Oh, hey. Yeah, so we got two nice goat fish. That was on our second dive. I went down first, shot one. Then Bray immediately dove down and Bray was able to snag that as well. So they're two really nice fish, really stoked with that. Beautiful colors. Um, you can notice the black spot, you can see that really well underwater, so it's a good way of identifying which fish they are. 